The infectious smile finally makes it to Sportsnet. Jason Sago, victorious in his Octagon debut at UFC 174. It's finally done. How happy are you? I'm super stoked. It was an awesome experience. You know, I went out there. Dana kind of gave us a speech, and he just said, take it home, and don't leave it in the hands of the judges. So the first round, heard the ref say 10 seconds left. I just put on the thrusters, kept going, and got the finish. Did you feel like if uh, the fight didn't finish at the end of it? Because I know a lot of guys, first time in the octagon, they blow their wild a little bit too early. All of a sudden, you punch it too much. I don't have it left. Were you worried about that at all if the fight didn't finish at the end of the first? No. I came into the fight in phenomenal shape. So I know even though I was burning out at the end, I'd, I'd be fine at a full minute to recover. I dropped my heart right down. I knew I'd, I'd have plenty left for the rest of the fight. I told the boys about our experience, the guys over at Sportsnet, I told them about your experience and I, and we were at the GSP seminar, yeah. and I said, Jason just was basically taking care of me the whole time, correcting my technique, and we were only doing stand-up. I said, you guys don't know, this guy, when he's on the ground, can get pretty ugly. I noticed that it was almost like you didn't really care about Mount, just waiting for him to give up his back. Yeah, exactly. As soon as you know, I landed one or two punches from Mount, right away he gave his back, looked to sink my, my hooks in, looked for the choke, he defended the choke, went to ground and pound, and I finished the fight that way. Well, Frank doesn't know as we do a lot of fight schools, but uh, I think Jason Sago is going to take over your spot for a couple for a couple episodes. <laughs> well, I got to be honest, yeah, I don't want to give away your technique because I saw what you were doing. I saw how that when you had the mount, and there's a little trick that you do that I'm trying to develop in my game that, that makes the guy turn over and give, give you his back. And I saw you do it twice. I was like, this is, it's incredible how you force a guy once you have mount to make him give you your back, which is exactly what you're looking for. And honestly, if it was 10 seconds longer in, in that round, that you, if he didn't give up with getting punched in the back of the head, you would have sunk the choke in because he had nothing left. That's awesome. No, thanks very much. I'm sure you got tons of secrets to share with me too. So maybe some tra training later on. Well, as we close this off, you're based on the East Coast. Yeah. Yeah. Toronto show coming up. Montreal show coming up. Halifax show coming up. Is there a preference at all? I actually got a preference for Halifax. They're doing October 4th, and I'd love to fight on the Halifax card. You know, it's within driving distance from me, and I got lots of fans on the East Coast that would love to come out to that. Jason Sago, TJ Grant, Halifax show. We're just saying, thank you for your time. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>